Why does God hate people loving sweet cakes or cakes with raisins, which include hot cross buns? It's okay, this one is fruitless. Fruit is evil. You wouldn't think that God hates spicy hot cross buns. However, in the Old Testament, the people of Israel had broken their marriage-like covenant with God, and he wasn't happy. Hosea 3, 1 reads, And the Lord said to me, Go again, love a woman who has loved another man and is an adulteress. Even as the Lord loves the children of Israel, they turn to other gods and love cakes of raisins. Why does God hate people loving sweet cakes? I mean, we should be answering the bigger questions of why hot cross buns are one a penny and two a penny. During spring festivals, Saxons made buns to the goddess Eostra. They marked the buns with a simple cross to represent the four phases of the moon. This seems to tie into the idea that turning to other gods and loving cakes of raisins. Other biblical translations took this as love of cakes of raisins to mean the worship of other gods. So this is all to do with Israel at the time, running to other gods and not loving God with all of their heart, with all of their minds and all of their soul. God is saying that he will remain faithful even if Israel won't. It has nothing to do with the hot cross bun. It is true that in the past the hot cross buns were made for pagan celebrations. However, today they have no connection to this. They were originally made by monks from dough that had been consecrated for mass to represent Christ's body. The cross represented the day of the cross, which is the way they referred to Good Friday at the time. Brother Thomas Rodcliffe, a 14th century monk, baked an Alban bun, which is basically what we have today, and gave it out only on Good Friday. Queen Elizabeth I of England, 1592, seemed to follow what God is suggesting in Hosea and issued a decree forbidding the sale of hot cross buns and other spice breads, except burials, Good Friday and Christmas. Although this decree makes the hot cross bun more religious than before. And I'm sorry, burials? Do something awesome for God and I'll catch you in the next one.